IMO codes and classification society rules require every cargo tank to be fitted with at least one liquid level gauge. IMO classification for gauging systems includes indirect systems using weighing or pipe flow meters. The IMO allows closed devices, which do not penetrate the tank, such as ultrasonic devices or radioisotope sources. Radar type liquid level gauges have been specially developed for liquefied gases and usage on gas tankers. The equipment provides measurements adequate to meet industry requirements. The IMO allows closed devices which penetrate the cargo tank, such as float gauges and bubble tube indicators. The float gauge is widely used in all tanker work and consists of a float attached by a tape to an indicating device which can be arranged for local or remote readout. The IMO codes call for every gas carrier to have a fixed gas detection system with audible and visual alarms on the navigating bridge, in the cargo control room and at the gas detector readout location. There must be detector heads in the following areas, cargo compressor room, electric motor room, the cargo control rooms, enclosed spaces such as hold spaces and interbarrier spaces, airlocks and vent hoods, and gas tension room supply ducts on LNG ships. Gas detection heads should be sighted with due regard to the density of the vapors of the cargo being carried. Lighter than air vapors will be detected at higher levels, and heavier than air vapors at low levels. Sampling and analyzing from each detector head is done continuously and sequentially. The gas codes call for sampling intervals from any one space to not exceed 30 minutes. Alarms should be activated when the vapor concentration reaches 30% of lower flammable limit. In addition to the fixed gas detection system, every vessel must have two sets of portable gas detection equipment, together with means for measuring oxygen levels in inert atmospheres. The IMO codes call for pressure monitoring throughout the cargo system including cargo tanks, pump discharge lines, liquid and vapor crossovers, etc. Pressure switches are fitted to various components to protect personnel and equipment by operating alarms and or shutdown systems. The IMO codes call for at least two devices for indicating cargo temperatures, one at the bottom of the cargo tank and the second near the top of the tank below the highest allowable level. The devices should be set to provide adequate warning prior to the lowest allowed temperature being approached. Electrical installations of all gas carriers are subject to the requirements flag states, classification societies and the IMO. Accommodation and machinery spaces are classified gas safe. Compressor rooms. Cargo tank areas and holds are classified gas dangerous. Electrical equipment can be classified as follows. Zone 0, an area with a flammable mixture continuously present. Zone 1, an area where flammable mixtures are likely to occur during normal operations. Zone 2, an area where flammable mixtures are unlikely to occur normal operations.